hello guys welcome back to my channel it's precious Keishana. in today's video i'll be doing a hair tutorial it's been a long time since i done one of these and i really enjoyed this look i was on youtube and i was actually looking for this particular hairstyle did not find it so i'm like hey let me record making a video on it i started by taking out my twist and i basically washed my hair did my wash day routine and twisted my hair to allow it to air dry i was supposed to be greasing my scalp and looking at the container that i picked up i actually picked up my hair just in pomade so you will see the impact that the pomade had as opposed to if i was to actually just moisturize my scalp i didn't know it straight straight because it's going in a ponytail so get it as straight as possible in a reasonable condition And now I am parting my hair halfway down the middle. I love working with my four sections, especially when you have super thick natural hair. It just makes the process so much easier to work with. Sorry about this clip right here. It was not focused on me. It was actually focused on that picture in the background. Maybe because my blinds kind of took over my face. But yeah. See, that section was a little bit too thick, so I had to run over it twice. So as you go, you would kind of feel out and see what works from what doesn't. I missed my roots in this one so I ended up doing a second pass on that. But after that I got the hang of it and did really thin slices and was able to just run it through one time and move along. It's all straight and as you can see the pomade have it like really shiny and stuck together it's not like that bouncy look as if I was getting a blowout but it's all right I'm sectioning out a small part now here's the first mistake that I made this video is kind of a tutorial, but also warning you guys what not to do. This part right here. And now we're straightening that bone straight. This part is not going to be seen at all because this is in the middle of your head. This is basically just positioning it and getting your part where you want it to be. I sprayed the got to be spray on here and then I started rubbing my fingers through it. It looked like there was a lot of pomade in this section. So as I put on the blow dryer towards it, it just automatically started turning white. I paid it no mind because I'm like, this part is not going to be seen once again. See, it started getting really white. And honestly, I really didn't even see it until I was doing the video. And now I'm putting in the scrunchie and I put it in so tight, forgetting that I have about three more scrunchies to go on top of there. So it started off all nice and good, but eventually my head was too tight. And that's what resulted in me having to do my hair all over again. But we're going to keep going along with the video and next I'm doing the next section will be the next top half of my hair. I left the back section out because I would do that next separately. It's kind of hard to do it because I can't see so I'm kind of like feeling my way through. You want to comb it as straight as possible and lay the hairs exactly where you want it to fall because exactly where you comb that hair and spray it it's gonna stay just like that. If you have any frizz balls, any pieces that you forgot to comb out, it's gonna stick right that way. So make sure you thoroughly go through your hair and position it exactly how you want it to. See this part, there's no wrong. You can't spray too much. The more you spray, the stiffer your hair would be. The problem that happened with this now is I sprayed it, started blow drying, and went and sprayed it again. My suggestion would be to spray your hair as much as you want to before you start letting it dry because once you let it dry and the spray on top of that, I realized that it started to turn white. So you can run your fingers through it and everything once it's still wet. And I'm just combing it and putting it into position and it took me so long to blow dry my hair, flat iron my hair and get it all right to turn around and have to do it. But to me, I just took it as a lesson. So that's why I am putting this video up still to show you guys the do's and the don'ts with a sleep ponytail using the Gatsby glue method. 
because it has all these videos online but no one's really showing you what can go wrong if you don't follow the things now i already have that first scrunchie super tight and then i went and put this one extremely tight so now i'm in the back area in the back you just comb it all up And see, it just falls right into place. The only difference is it's missing the shine. So I'm just spraying that all in and using my fingers to get that product all throughout the hair strands. And then I'm just going to repeat this step until I feel comfortable enough and assured that my hair is held into place just the way that I want it to be. Around the edge and part, I realize that it gets white regardless. All around your hairline, it will get white. So really what you could just do is take a wipe or a makeup wipe or even a wet paper towel and just pass it on there and it will completely rub away. So the edging part is perfectly fine. That's the least of your works. Yeah, the ponytail was all good right here off camera excluding the edges because the edges is the least of your worst off camera after I went and put this super tight in there I let it dry some more and then I went spraying and spraying some more to make sure it's extra secure because I'm like this is my birthday weekend I want to turn up I want to make sure it's all good yeah that wasn't the bestest of the idea <laughs> So then you're going to just attach the hair however you fit best, whether you want to put it in there, sew it in there. There's lots of videos on YouTube on how to do that. I decided to sew mine on there because I wanted it secured. And here I'm just showing how I achieved my curls. And then I held them into place by using the flexi rods while it was still hot to hold it and set it. And this is basically how I slept at night with the flexi rods in my hair. And in the front, I just used diagonal partings and glued pieces in between and when I glue it I made sure I glued it onto my scalp and not my hair because I know a lot of people are afraid of breakage and their hair ripping out once you glue it to your scalp and not your hair you're perfectly fine and you can always get the hair glue removal and it allows it to slip right out of your hair with no complications so yeah comb and I am cutting off some of the ends of the hair it was a little bit too long so I just kind of put it shoulder length and I measured it and did the same thing on the other side I did that a reasonable length because you got to remember that you also want to spiral curl this so I'm going to do it in a reasonable length where it falls kind of by your chin area and I'm just spiral curling this and then I'm going to flexi rod it same way Is it just me or does one curl always come out better than the other curl? Like you can never just get them identically the same. I almost got it. One's like a half an inch higher than the other one, but when you flexi rod it, it'll fall into place exactly how you set it, so. That's okay. And this is how I achieve my slick hygienic ponytail with my bangs. 
completely in love with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys take the tips and are able to achieve this look problem free on the first try. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!